Okay, we got this uh, number eight nymph type hook. I'm going to try a Canadian hopper, what they call it. Okay, tied in thread, back to about the point, and we'll use this small section of red bobbles. Oh, probably a short section. We'll take that. We need a piece of yellow floss. We'll tie that in, making the underbody. Go back, bring it up to the front. Use a piece of orange wool. Tie that in. Keeping it back from the head a little bit. Lash it in. Up to the front. Oh, it's an option. Put a little glue on it. Head cement, whatever. Okay, we will wrap around the orange floss, orange wool. Make it a nice even body. Up to your tie-in point. Okay. Alright, now we got the orange wool tied in. We'll take and rib out with the yellow floss. It's not a big deal. Just make a little bit of a rib. Makes it look pretty. Tie it off. Careful to not cut the thread again. Alright, now we take some turkey quills, the left and right side, cut a section off. Double sections. One way to tell what's how much you get is use the hook gap, not the gap of the hook. Turn them down to the back. The back of it brings out about halfway at the end of the, end of the hook. Lash them in. I think that'll stay in there all right. They don't have to be too much. Make it a decent head. Tying area for your head. Now this the head is like a muddler head. You even up your deer hair. And it doesn't take much. A little glue. That's about right. A couple of loose wraps. Teasing it around. Bring it around the front. Make a head. couple of half hitches and trim it off like a muddler head whether you use a bullet or a ball personal preference It'll help it float, and you want it, it'll fish in the water, not on it.
and a little head cement, kind of work it into the inside, and you're done. One Canadian hopper. Happy fishing. Mm -hmm.